three things which build and maintain civilization throughout time. Pristine air, pristine water, and pristine food. And as an eternal truth I say unto you, that there are three things which bring the end of civilization. Even the mightiest that have ever been and shall ever be, from the beginningless beginning to the endless end of all time. Impure air, impure water, and impure food. Zender Avesta, 3000 BC. Well, you can't trust a man on the six o'clock news. He's got his own little slam. He's got his own little views. He's got a version of the truth, and it's all twisted and curled. He's a prime time. The majority of the air pollution that our children have to breathe in today comes from one human activity, and that's burning fossil fuels. But it also comes from natural gas, coal, and other oil to power industrial processes, and the over 1,000 US backed local nuclear detonations, and of course, shipping barges. But did you know that for each one, of the 1,030 nuclear bombs tested right here on our own soil in the sunny southwest. Each one has a nuclear fallout period of 1,000 years plus. That's radiation poisoning for us for the next 1,000 years. Today, we observe not a victory for the human race, but an unprecedented challenge for future generations symbolizing an end as well as a beginning most importantly signifying the ever-present need for new ethics as well as serious change the world is so different for us now i mean our society has lost the mortal power to contain disease poverty and environmental repercussions and then everyone's still clueless about how to actually even make a difference I mean, we're stripping the planet at an unprecedented rate. For more than 20 years, we've been exceeding the Earth's ability to continue to support our lifestyle. Life, a miracle in the universe, appeared around 4 billion years ago. humans only 200,000 years ago. Yet we have succeeded in disrupting the balance that is so essential to life. In 50 years, in a single lifetime, the Earth has been more radically changed than by all previous generations of humanity. Smog and pollution covers the entire Earth. And this pollution makes something called acid rain. Now what is acid rain? Sulfur dioxide and water make sulfuric acid. Nitric oxide and water make nitric acid. These are the two main components of acid rain. These pollutants are byproducts of fossil fuel combustion, i.e. electrical generation, factories, and motor vehicles. Coal power plants are one of the most polluting. Acid rain refers to all types of precipitation, rain, snow, sleet, hail, and fog that are acidic in nature. Acid rain kills trees, crops, and other vegetation. Acid rain damages buildings and monuments. Acid rain corrodes galvanized copper and lead piping. Acid rain damages automobiles and can cause toxic metals to leach into underground drinking water sources. 
Acidic water looks, feels, and tastes just like clean water. Acid rain is one of the most dangerous and widespread forms of pollution. It is sometimes called the unseen plague. The acidity of rain has dramatically increased over the past few decades. It is now common in many places for rain to be 10 to 70 times more acidic than unpolluted rain. The problem of acid rain has not only increased with population and industrial growth, but has become more widespread. The whole earth is made up of rocks and minerals. Acid rain dissolves rocks and minerals from the earth, which then creates hard water. Dr. Charles Mayo of the Mayo Clinic. Water hardness, inorganic minerals in solution, is the underlying cause of many, if not all, of the diseases resulting from poisons in the intestinal tract. These hard minerals pass from the intestinal walls into the lymphatic system, which then delivers all of its products to the blood, which in turn distributes to all parts of the body. This is the cause of much human disease. Acid rain affects lakes, streams, rivers, bays, ponds, and other bodies of water by increasing their acidity until fish and other aquatic creatures can no longer live. The average person is about 70% water by weight. Imagine the effects of drinking this acidic water. Acid rain changed the pH of the ocean. Acid rain changed the pH of rivers and lakes. Acid rain has changed the pH of the entire human race. Acidic conditions in the body will cause you to have low energy and to not feel good in general. Acidic conditions cause a poor immune system, making you less resistant to sickness, colds, flus, etc. Acidity hinders the body's ability to absorb oxygen, vitamins, and minerals. Lack of oxygen intake will slow down the metabolism. An acidic body cannot lose weight and keep it off. Some of the more common symptoms associated with acid conditions are chronic fatigue, allergies, ADD, ADHD, ear problems, and upper respiratory problems. If the body's pH is out of balance, the body will pull alkalizing minerals from your bones. This will lead to osteoporosis and gout. In the past decades, humans have been the cause of extensive environmental pollution. Pollution is not a one-sided term. Humans have applied all kinds of chemicals and poisons in a vain attempt to improve the quality of life, resulting in a disturbance in natural processes. Disturbances of natural processes are clearly shown when you take a look at the human interference in the biogeochemical cycles. This has caused various environmental problems including damage to the water we drink, food production, both animal and vegetable, food processing, garbage processing, sewage processing, fossil fuel, electrical production, and raw material mining. The end product of all cities is to waste energy and produce global pollution of mind and atmosphere. Once the sewage starts flowing, it never ends. Pauline Roberts, PhD, naturopath and scientific researcher, says this about tank rainwater. Pesticides, fertilizers, debris from birds, plus other deadly poisons and heavy metals from agriculture and other industries have been found in many rural drinking water tanks. David C. Kennedy, DDS. Even tap water invariably contains a variety of poisons such as chlorine, chloramine, disinfection byproducts, asbestos, pesticides, fluoride, copper, mercury, lead, etc. CBS News. A vast array of pharmaceuticals including antibiotics, anticonvulsants, mood stabilizers, and sex hormones have been found in drinking water supplies of at least 41 million Americans. Approximately 70% of environmental mercury now comes from human activities, including a variety of industrial processes. Coal burning, incineration, or disposal of mercury-containing products, the use of mercury for chlorine production, production of zinc, steel, and other metals, cement production, mining, and product recycling. However, the largest source of emissions to the atmosphere is currently 
coal-fired power stations. How about the greener alternative of natural gas? Does natural gas drilling endanger U.S. water supplies? What is hydraulic fracturing? Fracking, which is short for hydraulic fracturing, is a common but controversial practice of most companies that drill underground for oil and natural gas. In fracking, drillers inject millions of gallons of water, sand, salts, and toxic chemicals into shale deposits or other subsurface rock formations at extremely high pressure to fracture the rock and extract the raw fuel. Hydraulic fracturing is used in 9 out of 10 natural gas wells in the United States. In 2007, there were 449,000 gas wells in just 32 states. By 2012, the nation could be drilling 32,000 new wells a year. Over 80,000 pounds of chemicals are injected into the Earth's crust to frack each well. Gas wells can be fracked over a dozen times during the production cycle. Up to 80% of the fracking fluid remains in the ground and is not biodegradable. Researchers have found almost 600 different chemicals in fracking fluid, including benzene, a known carcinogen. A number of chemicals identified in fracturing fluid are hazardous chemicals that may cause health risks that range from rashes to cancer. Some chemicals are identified as carcinogens. Some chemicals are endocrine disruptors, which interrupt hormones and glands in the body that control development, reproduction, and behavior in animals and humans. Scientists know that chemicals used in fracking pose a severe threat to the water table, and many times waste fluids are mishandled and spilled directly onto the ground. Drilling releases nitrogen oxide and volatile organic compounds, resulting in destructive surface smog. However, drillers are exempt from EPA guidelines like the Clean Water Act and the Clean Air Act. It's amazing that what took Mother Nature millions of years to build can be destroyed in a few hours with a piece of heavy machinery. What is doing is uh, searching for a problem that does not exist. Whoa, Jesus Christ. Given these basic parameters, let's reevaluate what we have learned. Obviously, the toxicological synergy of the Industrial Revolution has done a major number on all of our natural water resources. All water pollution is dangerous to the health of living organisms. Polluted water may not damage our health immediately. However, Drinking polluted acidic water on a regular basis will cause serious health problems.